One of the most compelling TV shows I've seen all year, Blackbird drops its first few episodes on Apple TV Plus tomorrow morning. Is it worth watching? Yes, but let's talk about it. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank you to Apple for sending me this six episode mini series, one that I was super excited for. You all get to see the first few episodes this weekend, but is it worth sticking around for? And I need those comments and thoughts down below. What is your favorite series on Apple TV Plus so far? But Blackbird is all about Jimmy Keen, who is sentenced to 10 years in a minimum security prison, but he cuts a deal with an FBI agent to befriend a suspected serial killer. Keen has to elicit a confession from Larry Hall to find the bodies of as many as 18 women based on a true story the main characters being played by taron edgerton paul walter hauser we also have greg kinnear ray liotta i mean it's a stacked cast across the board and i believe this is ray liotta's final performance so that is absolutely heartbreaking in itself the rating for the series is tvma tv mature a little bit of violence in there some sex and nudity alcohol and drugs intense moments and imagery a lot of elements in here that's not going to make for the best family experience but just watching this for the plot itself especially if you love something along the lines of and it's a very different show go over to netflix and watch mind hunter david fincher uh yes please but blackbird follows the same lines of that tone and that consistency and the fact that it's compelling you with a haunting and chilling performance from Paul Walter Hauser. You see, Jimmy, who is played by Edgerton, he's kind of this loose cannon type of guy. He gets into a bad situation and off to a prison cell he goes, but there's a deal that is being offered to him saying, essentially, if you can get this man to confess, we're either going to shorten your sentence or we're gonna get you out entirely and that is enticing now there's one moment before he walks in for the first time saying i don't know if i can do this because what you're asking me to do it seems like it's it's overly complicated complex it requires a lot of due diligence because he has to befriend this guy but he has to be so subtle and not obvious that people around him can't know that he's the rat and that is requiring a great performance from taron edgerton and we'll start with edgerton go back over to paul walter hauser He's fantastic. I mean, genuinely one of the better performances I've seen. I saw him get snubbed for Rocket Man. Still haven't forgiven the Academy. Let's hope he does not get snubbed for this performance. But it's crazy because once Hauser's character comes into the picture, I could not look away. I mean, I couldn't even take a breath anytime he's on screen because even though, you know, the locals and the local cops, they think that he's just a guy who's been caught up in a bad situation. I'm still curious as to whether or not he's just playing it up or we're actually dealing with a murderer here, but the further you get into the show, the more these things come to light. And I won't say which way or the other. All I will say is Paul Walter Hauser is playing this, I mean, is no perfect as it's going to get. And when you get Jimmy and Larry on screen, that relationship, you know one side of it is just someone trying to talk the other person into a confession, but they do, they get personal, they share stories, and these moments, the scenes that we get between the two, they begin to rattle the character of Jimmy, who's already dealing with so much. His relationship with Leota's character, and Leota in this show, it is... It's heartbreaking to watch. There's there's also a tribute. I believe it was after maybe episode three to Leota. And I said to myself, this is it. This is his final performance. And he goes out with a bang on a high note. Not only his personal performance, but uh, the show in its entirety was spectacular. Then we have Mophie's Lauren McCauley. And Lauren is a, a fascinating character to me because anytime she gets into a deep dialogue with Jimmy, you're thinking to yourself, oh, she's starting to come around on him. But it always turns around and it's like, nah, she's just a really, a really focused and somewhat badass character who I was so interested in every single time she was on screen. I absolutely loved her. Then you have Greg Kinnear's Brian Miller. Kinnear plays an extremely earnest character, and he's not a big fan of the way Macaulay goes about trying to get the truth at the beginning, but as these things pile up and more and more people are, maybe not on board, but defending the character of Larry, it becomes harder for him, even though there was that confession there at the beginning of the show, it becomes more difficult for him to, you know, make this happen and put the right person in prison for all of these 
murders. Now, the murder backdrop is there, and we'll reference it every now and then, but it's not like we see it happen. This is the aftermath. This is handling the psyche, specifically of the character of Larry, but also with all of these characters at play, not giving you too much in the first episode that says... All right, we're going to spell out everyone's backstory, and you have an idea that Jimmy played football at one point and the type of personality that he has, but it's not overbearing with its exposition. It gives us just enough, but allows us to live in the here and now, and that, for me, is what makes this show fantastic, compelling, and one that you're going to want to keep watching after every episode, because even though it's not action-packed, it's playing mind games with you, and it's all about the dialogue. It's all about this very intense type of psychological drama that personally I'm a huge fan of. I mentioned Mindhunter, but any show that deals with something along these lines and executes doesn't overstay. It's welcome. It's one you're going to want to continue to tune in week to week. I, for one, had a great time with it. The pacing every now and then in the episodes goes off base, and there is a subplot or two that I wasn't as, like, invested in. For me, I want Larry and Jimmy on screen at all times. You don't get a lot of that in the first two episodes, but hold on because it's coming and stay tuned because every episode is worth watching. Before I give you my score, what is your favorite performance from Taron Edgerton? Are you excited for this on Apple TV Plus and are you watching tomorrow? Blackbird is must watch television. It isn't often that a crime based thriller is so perfectly paced, but it flows beautifully. Edgerton is at his best. And Hauser is absolutely fantastic. My score is a 92%. This is one of the best shows of the year so far. And Apple TV Plus is crushing it for sure. I just, uh, I can't wait to watch this again. My wife is already interested. I said, girl, we got to do it. And we're going to. You guys are the best. Stay tuned for more reviews. See you soon.